name is Adam Gardner, and I'm an atheist because I believe extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And God is a pretty damn extraordinary claim. The French government is determined to pass legislation on same-sex marriage and adoption, despite organised protests against the bill. Protesters, in what is described as one of the largest demonstrations in decades, want a national debate on the issue. Government spokesperson and Women's Affairs Minister Najat Valod Belkacem is adamant that the bill, which she describes as progress for the whole society, will go through. We take note of the demonstration but this will be discussed in Parliament and not in the street. Interior Minister Manuel Val sees the organised protest which was attended by nearly half a million people as a reason for the government to stay focused on its goal to pass the reform bill. Conversely, Daniel Licht, Vice President of the National Council of French Evangelicals, says the large-scale protest showed a new role for religion in public life in highly secularised France characterised by increased activism among religious minorities. The number of Catholics and Catholic groups, Muslims, Evangelicals and even gays who took part in the protest supports Leith's argument. When the French government passes the bill, it will be the ninth country within the EU to recognise same-sex marriage. According to an article published by Reuters, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia was the site of what is described as a rare protest when Saudi clerics gathered in front of the royal court to protest against King Abdullah's appointment of 30 women to the Shura Council, a body that advises the government on new laws. This is a bold and progressive move for Saudi Arabia, a country that Reuters describes as traditionally a patriarchal society in which women are not allowed to drive, and need permission from their male guardians, father, husband or brother, to go abroad or take certain jobs. The 50 clerics who contradicted their own edict that bans public protests were not allowed access to King Abdullah. Abdullah's large-scale social and religious reforms have prevented the kind of unrest that recently took place in other Middle Eastern countries from breaking out in Saudi Arabia. Saudi political analyst Khalid al dakil speculates that maybe we are now faced with a socio-political change in the society where we have the traditional Salafi school of thought that adheres to all its principles and now there is a new generation of Salafis emerging that hopes for different proposals. It appears that the majority of Saudis applaud these modest social reforms. 1,054 Catholic priests in England have signed an open letter critical of new proposed gay marriage legislation. The letter also declares that it would severely restrict the ability of Catholics to teach the truth about marriage in their schools, charitable institutions or places of worship. The Catholic Church was a target of oppressive regulations prior to the Catholic Emancipation of 1892. Catholics at that time were forbidden from purchasing land, holding office in Parliament, or from practising their religion without penalties. Today there are no such regulations or laws, but the Church still fears that we could be arrested for being bigots or homophobes if the new legislation passes. 